Hey, welcome to a new YouTube video. So I am a photographer and a videographer, as you might know if you've seen some of my other videos. That's how I make my money. That's how I, I do what I do. I like to make sure that my gear can do both things, photo and video. So I've acquired, I just got in actually today, the Aperture 120D Mark II. I had the 300D Mark II, and then I had the Aperture 120D, the original one. I wanted to see if I can sort of mimic Peter Hurley's flex kit, which if you don't know what that is, it's by Westcott. He's a well-known, like probably one of the most famous headshot photographers in the world, uh, based in New York City. And I really look up to him. He's put out a lot of free content as far as how to use flash, how to use lighting, how to get the right expressions out of people. And um, he has a flex kit, which is if you might have seen Westcott's flex kit, they have an RGB version now. Uh, they're essentially like really like an LED strip of foldable fabric and they're really travel friendly. Um, and you, he, he puts them in two one by threes and two one by fours. So he has like a square setup, but then he also does a triangle type setup a lot. And that Westcott setup is about $5,500. I saw it on Amazon for 5,000. Since I have all this aperture gear for my videography, I have a Godox 8400 Pro, which I might throw in here on the backlight or I might use it as a hair light. Uh, by backlight, I mean, um, to light up the background. I wanna see if I can get it to look good for headshots. Since I shoot on Sony cameras, uh, I'm filming on the A7S III right now, but I have the A7R4, which is my go-to um, photography camera, and I have the 85 1.8 on here. I really like how light it is. I wanna see if I can get this as my nice, constant light setup without having to deal with a bunch of flashes. I understand how to use flash, flashes are great, but I really want my aperture lights to do double duty for me. I'm, I'm not saying that this is the cheapest way. I'm not one of those YouTube channels where here's the cheapest way to do this or that. I believe in investing in yourself and investing in your gear. The 300D Mark II is like 1100, 1200 bucks. The 120D Mark II was about 700. The 120D original you can probably get for four or five hundred bucks or less now. That's not that cheap and then you've got all my grip equipment here. I'm using some C-stands and then that backdrop is a, maybe 200 bucks or less depending on what brand you go with. And then I have my camera and, and whatnot. But using a, a mirrorless camera, I can see what my shot's gonna look like before I pull the trigger. But I'm gonna bring my wife in here. I have a headshot shoot tomorrow morning and I'm gonna try and bring you guys along if I can. I'm just gonna do some test shots to kind of see if I can get these shots to look like like I'm, I'm thinking they might look. I'm just gonna play with it. Part of the fun of what we get to do as photographers and videographers is try stuff out and play with some things, so uh, why not? Before I get there though, I also wanted to tell you what my modifiers are. So I, I recently invested in the uh, Rapid Boxes, Rapid Box Switch by Westcott. So this is a one by two strip light. So a lot of you guys that aren't into photography, if you're just videographer, you might not know about Westcott as much. They have these strip boxes. This is one by two. This is the one by four. And then I also have their Octabox. And, uh, it's like, a, I think it's a 32 or 36 inch. Uh, they have large, they have small. Uh, but right here, I, I'm using the Aperture Mini Light Dome 2. Uh, since it breaks down really fast and easy, it's the smallest light dome that I have, just as a bottom uh, fill light. I wanted to try just get, getting the headshots, the, the look that I want with just these uh, strip boxes and just play around with it. So let's just try some headshots, see what we get. Might not like them, might like them a lot. That way, whenever I go tomorrow to actually do the headshots at the actual gig that I'm getting paid at, I feel a lot more confident. So, and the other cool thing with these aperture lights is I can turn them all on and off with this one remote. So you've just got one, one uh, program to group A, one at B, and one at C, and you can turn your brightness up and down on all of them. So let's turn that guy way up, there we go. Let's get my wife in here. We're gonna try some headshots and just see what kind of stuff we can get. And now I'm gonna put on the flash. It's at one one twenty eight. Oh yeah, that fill is yeah, that that kicker light is adding a lot. I mean, obviously, whenever I have a lot more space to shoot in, it's going to be better. But because uh, I'm right here in this small in my living room, trying to make this work, where I'll have more room to kind of play around with stuff. The kicker light's definitely too close. I wish I had another one of these strip boxes for that, and that way that could be my kicker light instead of that giant octa box. But see, 
That's without the flash, or that flash, mm -hmm. and that's with it. See how it just kind of it helps brightens set, it up. It yeah. separates you from the background. Yeah, I like it. I'm re I really love this this camera setup. This uh, A7R4 with the 85 1.8, such a nice light lens. I'm shooting at 5.6 on it just to kind of get everything in focus and be it's a good headshot uh, scenario and it gets the right lighting I feel like so and I was at ISO 640 1 100 1 one hundredth of a second uh, ISO 640 is nothing for these cameras but we'll see what I get whenever I'm in the in the room tomorrow it's gonna be nice to shoot some photos I haven't shot photos in a little bit but uh, I don't have to worry about the air conditioner noise I don't have to bring a whole bunch more equipment that I normally have to bring even though this is still gonna wind up being a decent amount of, of equipment but Let's move on to the next part of this process. All right, I made it to the location where I'm gonna be doing these headshots at. It's a, it's in a giant building, but this section that I'm at is like an abandoned, there's no one using these offices kind of place. So it used to be a full office area. So I'm just gonna use this room. Should be big enough. And then that way I can turn off the lights in here. Control the light how I want. Gonna kind of build my lighting up around you. Hi, how are you? Welcome. All right. Do you have a preference on the, the side? Like for him and I, we're like we like the straight on, kind of like you're standing right now. Some people prefer the turn thing. It's really up to you. You can do it either. Way. Okay. It's, we this is more approachable in my opinion. Than, yeah. like, who, who looks at one another like this? It's very slow. I'm shooting at one one hundredth of a second to get the lighting that I want, but I feel like I need, I feel like the eyes aren't as sharp as they should be, which is why I need to get a photo tripod that I can just set it up and um, I can make sure no matter what shutter speed I put it at, I'm gonna have super sharp focus. What I'm gonna do is get my uh, lighting set up. Yeah, let's see what we got. Let me see what it's looking like first. All right, and then I'm, I'm gonna move that we'll light. Make sure these points are good too, because these points will get pulled under or something. Sure. Okay. So I'm just gonna adjust my lights for your glasses. All right, I think I'm getting it down a little bit more. I guess I'm just looking for something. I think I have, I put too much expectation on myself, but I've got it at about 29%. And then the under light here is about almost zero. That light doesn't go to zero, it's at 11. And then this light, the, the 120D Mark II, we've got it 84%. And this is what it looks like from this side. So I'm not, I, I would rather have a one by two here instead of this mini light dome. This is my kicker light. It's just putting a little on the side. I really like having this one by four up here like that. I think I'm, I'm getting pretty happy with this setup as my go-to headshot setup, even though I do like just using a flash with a whatever background like somewhere outdoors or something like that and so but these more corporate headshots need this kind of studio lighting in my opinion but we're getting there <laughs> 